It is a beautiful day for some frickin' chicken taquitos. Been dreaming about griddling these up and it's finally the fin day. Let's do it. Now I'm going with some pretty damn inauthentic varieties of taquitos today. So I'm gonna make a barbecue taquito and a buffalo sauce taquito. And yeah, it is basically the lazy mom's way of making these taquitos quick and easy for the fam, all right? Now one of the reasons that I like to smoke two chickens at a time is so I have some leftovers. So however you make chicken, the easy way to make this particular recipe is to make double the amount and save half for your chicken taquitos. Or you could always buy like a rotisserie chicken or however you get your cooked chicken and dice it up for this recipe. I'm literally hungry already, so I need like a little snack -a rooney I swear I'm gonna make this recipe and I'll show you in a second, but real quick, look at this. Look at this, it's a genius. Ready, a little buffalo sauce and my little chipperoni. Ooh. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, that's a lot of sauce. That's a lot of sauce. Oh. Do you wanna split it with me? Mm, 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 mm. I need more chip. Okay. It's dissipating. Mm-hmm. Lucky me, it looks like someone already got to my leftover chicken, so I guess the people who ate this chicken for lunch are not gonna be eating that much of it for dinner. All right, all right. Not my fault. They didn't know the plans in my head, okay? This is my day. Got two different bowls because I want my sauces in each bowl because if they're together, it'll probably ruin my day, all right? Separate taquito situation, separate. Did you take my beer? Of course not. All right. Half the meat in each bowl, please. Maybe a tablespoon or two. Uh, a little bit more. I just be a little bit stingy. Barbecue sauce. Oh, whoa! Mama, a lot of barbecue. I recommend preserving your energy whenever possible, but at the same time, grating cheese is like one of my favorite things to do. So we're gonna grate the cheese by hand, but you could use shredded cheese as well. I'm gonna put some cheese in each bowl. Careful your fingers. Yeah, um, I almost cut my finger on one, one, one time. I remember. It scarred me for that. It was very close. Hopefully I had quick reflexes. Should have got me. Well, I don't want any bloody onions, so you better watch those fingers. That was not part of the seasoning I was planning for my taquitos. cheese is enough cheese. Like there's never enough cheese. So we do more cheese. The burn! Oh my god, there's so much cheese. I love it. Thanks, babe. Do you want cheese? It's my lucky day because I found some rice in the fridge. And I'm gonna dice up some cilantro to go in as well. All right, to each of my bowls of meat, I'm gonna add a little diced onion. Oh my God. Look at all this glorious cheese. I mean, it's just gonna melt so good because I shredded myself, oh my God. Cooking, cooking tax. Okay. More cheese! 
little cilantro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's friend. All right, there you go. All right, gonna just mix it all up. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, smells so good. It's gonna be very good. Look at that, that meatiness. Mm. It's gonna be really good. New tongs. Cause you know how I feel about mixing it all up. I'm against it. I'm against it. Okay, these are the buffalo ones. That looks very yummy. Very, very good. You know what? I just need to stop the video and take a little photo because when I put this recipe on sipbygo.com, I want to show you a little picture of the meats. Now I'm going to add them to the center of these tortillas, roll them up, then head outside to the griddle. You could always probably bake these in the oven or you could fry them up in a pan or the air fryer, but griddle we are doing today. It might be a stretch. I don't want to talk about what's going on, okay? It's like freaking origami over here. <laughs> we get what we get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we don't freak the F out, okay? When you're griddle cooking, it's important to just bring everything on God's earth that you could possibly want outside. So I'm gonna bring some olive oil. A little brush, garlic salt, pepper, but I'm gonna have to steal pepper from somewhere else. Give me the peppers. Need some butter. A knife for the butter. My onions. I'm gonna bring some rice to heat up because I think it'll go really nice with our spread. You want me to prep it for you? I ate the bugs, so we'll keep it closed. Since we're out there, I'm gonna do up a little bit of griddled broccoli. Love it. Hey -ya. Yeah! A little cilantro. And I think we are just missing one thing, and that is guacamole, and then we're ready to go griddle. The time has come. We are ready to go. So my plan of action looks like this. The onions are gonna go down first. They're gonna take a lot longer to cook. All right, so I'm gonna put them down with some olive oil. Gonna hit them with some garlic salt and pepper. And later I might throw in some butter. We'll just see how that goes. They're just gonna slowly be cooking in the background. <sighs> then I'm gonna get started on the broccoli. The broccoli is gonna cook with the help of the dome. I'm gonna steam it up with some water in there. It's gonna be perfect. Then I'm gonna go in the rice. The rice is gonna get it cooking. And then last but not least, somewhere in the mix, I'm gonna throw down the taquitos. I just gotta kinda like see when the right opportunity, the moment hits me that it's time for the taquitos. But everything is gonna start on medium heat. I might lower it if things are going a little too quickly. So here's the improv part of griddle cooking. Let's go.
All right, the time has almost come. We are just in the plating stage, which is my favorite part of cooking because then you're like one step closer to eating. So jamming out to some music, gonna just load it all up on the plate. We're gonna go eat. Thanks for being with me. Look how good this looks. Yummy! I'm gonna go devour this right now. It's all like melty cheese. Chicken looks so good. The whole platter, great family meal. Bye!